What's up guys? This is the Pixu 64. It's a brand new retro pixel art display board developed by Divroom. If you're not familiar with Divroom, they're this company that provide these awesome retro style boards, speakers, whatever it may be. There's a whole bunch of things that they really do. I've reviewed a lot of their products in the past and today they've sent me across a brand new one that's currently on Kickstarter. It's smashing its goals. Check out the funding campaign in the description below. I've got the link right there. I'm gonna go ahead and unbox this, but this looks so good just from the box itself. It's a very lightweight and a very large pixel display that you can control using your phone, connect it through Bluetooth, create your own animations, use it for multiple different purposes. You can see from the front of the box, you can set this up to display some financials like cryptocurrency, stock prices, whatever it may be. Of course, you can just use it for the general things like a clock, an alarm. It can even display notifications from your phone your music playlist, a whole bunch of things. Let's go ahead, unbox this, showcase to you guys the different use cases for it and see how it performs. Just from the box itself, you can see there are some highlights at the bottom. You can use it as a social media tracker, pixel art creation, music visualizer, interior lighting decoration. So. I'll showcase a lot of these examples. So before I go into that, let's just take a look at the accessories. You have yourself the user manual, and here you have yourself a very long USB-C charging cable. And then in this packet, you have a couple of mounting screws that you can place at the bottom of the Pixel device as well. So let's put this to one side, take a look at the screen. Look at that, it looks like a very nice monitor. It's uh, it's actually quite lightweight. Now there is a screen protector on this, as you can see, it's quite reflective. I'm gonna leave that on for now, just so that it doesn't get a lot of fingerprints on it. Okay, on the right hand side, there's two buttons here. You have yourself the power button there. This is also the menu button. Then you also have the two mounting screws there at the bottom. So those are the screws that came in the box. So just underneath the mounting plate, there's a USB-C charging port. And there's a slot for micro SD card, so you can actually put displays on this from an external memory source. So just at the bottom, this is where the kickstand is, and you can mount this on a wall as well. So there's a screw port there. If you just pull this out, so this actually just clips in here. There you go. Then you can actually use this as a digital photo frame. So one other caveat I wanted to mention is that you need to have this plugged into the USB cable to power it on. It doesn't have an internal battery where you can use it without a cable, so it has to be plugged in at all times to use it, so that's something you need to be aware of. Now the first time you do power it on, you'll get a Wi-Fi configuration option. It's very simple, go into the app, make sure you have the latest version of the app, connect it to Bluetooth, enter your Wi-Fi details and it will connect straight away. It might ask you to update the firmware, so always go ahead and do that so you have the latest version. So I'm now going to power this on by turning the switch on that I have under the desk. You'll see, you get a little confirmation beep and it will start turning on. I've got the Divroom logo, the Pixu logo, and it will start to display the default faces. So now what I'll do is go in and show you a little bit about the app and how that looks. I'll leave a link in the description below as well of all my previous Divroom product reviews. I've covered the app in extensive detail as well, in case you guys wanted to go and check those out. But I'll give you an overview of the capabilities of the app and what this can display. Okay, so this is the default gallery of all the different types of pixel animations that you can send to the display board here. So there's a lot of options in this. You know, there's thousands of things. They're user generated. There's some ones that have been developed by the Divum Gallery experts. So you can see here, you know, if I just click on one, there you go, it changes from the default clock to the pixel art display. You can set them as favorites if you wanted to cycle through them at a later stage. And there's plenty of things that you can do in here. And you know, if you're a fan of a certain comic or some characters, I'm pretty sure you're going to find them. There's a search button on the top. So if I type in, let's say Sonic, press enter, you'll see there's loads of Sonic art as well. So that just looks really cool. And you can have this in the background, especially, you know, if you're an avid gamer, then this is really cool to have around your desk 
or in your room or in your bedroom, wherever it may be. And there's loads of other things that you can do on the app. So what I'm gonna do is just go through some of the tabs there down below just to highlight some of the key features on this. The first tab on the bottom left there is called Discover. This is where you'll find most of the options of the things you can display onto this. The first one there you can see is Design, then you have Animation, then Pixel Coloring and Alarm. Let's just start off with Design. Here you can start creating your own kind of display that you wanted to have on there. It could be some text, it could be a design or a picture that you create yourself. Let's go ahead and let's say I uh, select blue. I can start writing some text. Make sure to like this video. It just instantaneously appears as you're creating on your phone. You can save it, have it set there as a default face um, that can cycle through the different channels. You can even go to animation create a set of faces that cycle through, like an animated GIF for example, and that gets displayed on there as well. Alarm is pretty cool. If you have this in your bedroom, on your side table, you can create an alarm and that will wake you up by beeping in the morning as well. Planner, if you wanted to add a plan, you click on the plus button. That can schedule things throughout the week. So you might want to show your financials, for example, on certain days, maybe your working hours, or so your social media stats and things like that maybe on the weekends so there's plenty of things that you can do to play around with the planner celebration days this is pretty cool you can maybe do like a countdown to someone's birthday or to a specific holiday hit new and then you enter the title the date the time and then you select an animation that would appear as soon as that date and time arrives so let's go back you have a countdown meter, so if you do set time, let's just say one minute, click OK and then start. You'll see it will start a little countdown and you know this is really cool if you're maybe at home playing some board games with your family and you have a specific time that you want to do stuff or even if you do some maybe home workouts and you wanted to time yourself doing an exercise, you know multiple reasons why you might have a countdown and that's really cool to do. If you hit the more option, this is where you'll find pretty much all of the different options and capabilities of this. So if you scroll down, there's plenty of things here. You can actually sync this with your audio. So you've got radio and local audio that's saved to your device. So you can play that there. If you go down towards the bottom, you also have something called a scoreboard. This is something I, I like quite a lot. So I can play some games with the family or friends when they come around my house and I can just set up a scoreboard to see who's winning. Just hit plus and minus to see who's scoring the most points and you know those kind of things. So that's pretty cool. You have a noise meter there as well, right there on the bottom left. So if I hit start, this just kind of gives you the decibel levels of how loud the audio is in the room around it. So it's actually picking up my sound. So if I stop speaking, it's very low and it just picks up the noises that it's hearing outside of the window and uh, some of the noises of the people coming from outside the room. So you can see, you know, it, it does a pretty good job getting the rough estimated level of decibels in the environment. So plenty of things there. Now, if I go back and then now at the bottom, you have this thing called channel, which is the second tab. If you go here, this is where you'll find all of the key interfaces, which you know you might be using more often than anything else. So the classic digital clock there is by default when I loaded the app. You can actually set your own YouTube stat there. So if you want to search for your channel, you can do that and it will show the number of subscribers that you, you have, the name, and then you have the date and the, the time as well displayed at the bottom. You can actually search if you tap the little menu button there, you hit search channel. And you know, let's say for example, you have Disney Music Vivo. You select that, click done, hit apply. Then this will update. There you go, the number of subscribers to the Disney channel. Then you have the sort of normal category, which are kind of like the clocks and the, the times. Then you've got the financials. Um, let's say you, you want to check the latest uh, Bitcoin pricing. You select the Bitcoin one, and then you can have this there, especially you know if you do a lot of crypto trading. This might be useful if you just want to have it next to your desk and you do some monitoring throughout your workday. It's really convenient to have. It's kind of like a second monitor to track your financials. Obviously, there's not a lot of extensive financial data there. It's just specifically one crypto, but you know, you know, if that's something that would be useful for you, then that's really great. You know, even if you check out the stock prices like this, that could be something that you're into. And there's loads of other things as well, like games, you've got things related to holidays and the tool set. So not a huge extensive list, but it's got some pretty cool stuff there. You also have a visualizer tab right at the top. 
and if you select one of these for example you can see that visualizes if you have some music in the background that will bounce to the music and the audio levels in the room so this is picking up my voice at the moment so if i stop speaking again and now start speaking you can see it does a good job picking that up so you know it's a really cool thing to have in the background now the main button is there in the middle at the bottom this is where you'll find the extensive gallery like i was showing you earlier select and favorite as many things as you like and you know this is something really cool just to have in the background and adds really cool ambience to the room i've been a fan of divin products for a very long time and i've got plenty of their products that they've sent across to me and there's one actually there if you can see just on my fireplace at the back that's the uh, tv max so i'm going to probably have a divin product in almost all of my key rooms where I spend most of my time. So I'm a huge fan of these and I definitely recommend you guys check it out if that's something you would like. Now you can also cycle through some of the things that you've already set and this is customizable in the settings option. The button on the side there under the power button is the channel button so you can cycle through the different things. It goes to off in the last stage and then whatever you want to customize this for, you can do that. So the next thing I wanted to showcase is the different types of things that you can use this for around the house. So let's go ahead and take a look at that now. Alright guys, so thanks for watching. If you did like this product, make sure you go ahead and like this video. Check it out, it's currently on Kickstarter. You know, I'm so happy that Divim sent me this product. I'm gonna be setting this up around my house as well, most likely in the living room. It's just gonna look so nice. And if there's any other questions you have specifically on the capabilities of this, drop a comment down below. Otherwise, as usual, I have new videos out every week. Make sure you subscribe and I will catch you guys next time. Take care.